Hi everyone, this is Michelle Weens from Performance High and welcome to today's Wednesday Live. Uh, today, I am going to just chat a little bit about open water swimming. Uh, it is getting to be summer out there. The weather is getting nicer by the day. Uh, sunshine, warmer weather brings people out to the ponds or to Lucky Peak to start doing open water swimming. If you are um, getting ready for a triathlon or, and cause we have races back this year, um, yay. Um, you might be thinking about getting yourself ready for your open water swim. And, uh, or maybe you just like to open water swim or have, are wanting to try open water swimming uh, cause it's, you know, super peaceful and awesome out there. Um, and I just thought that since we're getting closer to that time that I would just do a little talk on uh, some things you need to think about for uh, open water swims. So we have a couple places that we do them here. Obviously Quinn's Pond is uh, one and then Lucky Peak is the second. Quinn's Pond is great until it gets to be super crowded with all of the paddle boarders and the swimmers and the dogs and the geese and the people jumping off of floaties and whatever else and then it gets a little crazy plus it gets kind of warm sometimes so um, lucky peak is a good option if you're looking for a little colder water and um, a little more space um, as far as things that you need to think about for open water swimming the first thing to um, kind of think about is you want to be safe and so the one of the first things that you or the one of the best things you can do to keep yourself safe is swim with a friend so you want to grab your best friend you know who loves to swim with you and um, go out and swim together uh, things are always better in a crowd and um, two is better than one uh, in case one of you has a problem the other one will be there to help um, so getting a friend out there and doing it with them is not only more fun but also more safe um, so get yourself a friend. That's first and foremost. Second is, I mean, I wish I had one. I don't have one here actually to show you because, you know, I'm usually coaching these swims <laughs> as opposed to swimming them myself. So, um, but it's a swimmer buoy and these, oh, shoot, I wish I had one. These are, I will have to get one for visuals, but these are bright orange, bright yellow, um, little floaties that you attach to you via a belt and, um, they just float behind you. They're really light. They float behind you and you, they actually, some of them actually have places you can put your keys and whatever else, that kind of stuff. Um, but they basically just, like I said, float behind you and they create a visual that people can see. So uh, one of the hazards about being in open water is that um, you become basically invisible to things like boats and um, other people. Um, so if you have this bright orange thing floating behind you, then at least people can see you. And uh, should you get into trouble, you also have something to hold on to that will help be a flotation device. So uh, a swimmer's buoy is super important to get. And there's, you know, you can find them online. They're really easy to, to, to buy um, and very, very helpful. So a buddy and a swimmer's buoy, those are your two big safety things. Um, also make sure that, you know, people know where you are so um, that you have some way to get help should you need it. Uh, as far as equipment goes, it kind of depends on uh, the temperature of the water. Um, but let's just say we're going to go, well, so just so just to put this out there, I have open water swim workouts that are going to be starting on June 14th. That's a Monday. These are going to be Monday and Wednesday nights from 6 to 7 p.m. out at Lucky Peak. And Lucky Peak in June is pretty chilly. So... Um, especially at the start of these, uh, swims, um, when we start in the season, as we get into July and August, things get a little warmer, but, um, you know, you, you want to have like some, some good, uh, warm equipment. And so a couple things that you might think about for making your open water swim a little more comfortable. So, um, head, your head is the, the biggest thing to relieve. Well, okay. Let me actually, let me not start at your head. Let me start at your body. Biggest thing you need first and foremost is your wetsuit. That's, I, that was like so obvious. I just about like forgot. Hey, Yetta, thanks for coming in. So you want to make sure you have, you know, a wetsuit. Um, wetsuits come in all different sizes. This is a big ginormous full one. It's got long sleeves, um, long legs, long legs, really long legs. Um, and something like this would be great for Lucky Peak um, and probably Quinn's Pond right now too. 
Um, they also, you know, they come in long leg and sleeveless, and then they come in what they call shorties, which, you know, are short legs, short arms. So all different kinds. And, um, you know, you want something that obviously is gonna keep you warm, um, and particularly your core, that's obvious. That's obvious. So uh, depending on what type of a person you are and how warm you tend to like yourself to be, you might wanna look at, you know, the, the fuller versions with the full arms, full legs. Um, they do have some drawbacks uh, as opposed to the sleeveless versions. Um, if you get into the full arm variety, then obviously you get a little more constriction in the shoulders, makes it a little bit harder to, to do your swim stroke. Although if you pull those suckers up the way you're supposed to, all the way up into your armpits, you should be able to get nice open arm uh, motion as well. But wetsuit first and foremost, they're super important. Um, and for my open water swims up at Lucky Peak, you absolutely have to have that. You cannot do it in anything less than a full wetsuit. So you gotta have full arms, full legs. So that's first. Second, then we get to your head and your head releases a ton of heat. So if you wanna keep yourself warmer, um, you've got to have good head covering. And um, one of the, the easiest things to do is, first and foremost, is a swim cap. Oh, by the way, I have performance high swim caps right here, should you want one. Um, but if it's cold like up at Lucky Peak in June, one is not enough. You need to have two of them. <laughs> and so if you double cap, that is going to do a world of good to keeping your head warm. Um, so if you don't want to invest in any special equipment, just get, have two caps and they need to be, you know, good thick caps, not like the little thin chintzy ones that um, oftentimes you get at races. Sometimes those are not enough. You need like good thick caps, like performance high caps, <laughs> really good quality. Um, so two caps, double cap, that is a, a good, that'll help keep the heat into your head and help keep you a little warmer. If you wanna go the additional step, then you wanna to go to, and you wanna be really nice and warm, then you wanna to go to something like the neoprene hoodies. So that's what this is. Um, it's got a little, you know, chin strap right here. And this little guy just, you know, slides over your head and makes you look really cute and fun and just snaps around the bottom and you've got yourself a neoprene hoodie. Um, these go a long way towards keeping you uh, even warmer. So you can put a cap, a swim cap underneath this or on top of it, which actually would be better because then you have the color on the top of the black because black on the water, you can't see that at all. So put your nice bright colored swim cap on top of this um, and you've got yourself uh, a pretty good system for keeping your head warm. Um, if you have issues with hands and feet, which lots of people do, then you can go into uh, more exotic equipment like these little neoprene gloves. These little guys work pretty well to keep your hands warm. They make you feel like you have ginormous hands. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily say that they make you feel like you can swim really well with them, but they do keep your hands warm. They just, you know, this glove on and then you've got this big old glove in it does its little Velcro-y thing and you can, you know, have a little warmer hands. Um, they also have Velcro, or excuse me, neoprene booties, like these little guys, um, for keeping your feet warm. And I will say these pretty much fill up with water. So you kind of feel like you have these water boots on after a while and your kick feels a little weird and it's not terribly comfortable. Um, but they do help kind of keep your feet warm ish. I will say ish. Okay. Not like super, super warm, but they work better than nothing. Okay. So those kind of things are for your nice extreme cold water. The other thing that you might want to consider, and this is for those of you out there that tend to get, um, vertigo or dizzy spells in the water, cold water in your ear canals, um, can cause all kinds of, um, like I said, dizzy, vertigo, those kinds of things sort of messes with your inner ear. So um, if you have that problem, um, and particularly really cold water does that to a lot of people, um, plus it's just uncomfortable, it's just nasty cold, uh, silicon earplugs are really, really helpful. And I had a pair, but apparently I have given them away. So um, they are just, they're moldable, little silicon 
plugs and you just put them in your ears, put your caps on over the top, and it pretty does a pretty good job of keeping the water out of your ear canal, which is super helpful. Like I said, again, people can get vertigo and um, super dizzy with the cold water going in there. So that helps keep that out. Um, let's see, uh, that's for super cold. Um, now, I will say from the uh, coaching side, so if you are thinking at, at all about doing an Oprah Water workout with me, just so you know, um, my workouts are, they are coached workouts. And so that means I give you guys um, sets, diff different kinds of, of things to do in the water. Um, I pretty much keep everybody moving because the water is so cold. We don't spend a lot of time standing around, sitting around, doing, you know, talking, whatever. It's like, here's what we need to do. We get moving, we go, we go, we go. And um, I try to keep the sets really fun and, and interesting and different, different kinds of focus points. We try different kinds of things in the water. Um, we actually last year did some, what if you got a cramp, how would you like get rid of your cramp kind of stuff. So all kinds of funny little things to just kind of keep it interesting. Um, I have a lifeguard as well. So we are myself and the lifeguard are on uh, stand up paddle boards or kayaks. So we are not in the water. We are actually above the water watching everybody and can easily get to people if they need help. Um, so that's a good safety precaution. And then the other thing that I have for my open water workouts is I have this little system, which is kind of cool. It's a voice amplifier, which I actually use it for my indoor coaching too, but this works great outdoors. So it's a little speaker and a headset mic. And so everybody can hear me, which is really nice. So a little easier to talk to people with that. And that makes it kind of cool. So um, open water workouts, open water swims are great, you guys. I mean, they're so, so fun um, despite the cold. Always better in groups, right? And um, it's super nice out there. I mean, it's just, it's peaceful. You can just swim. You don't have to worry about lane lines. You don't have to worry about walls. You don't have to worry about other people necessarily unless you're trying to do a group swim where you are trying to work on drafting skills and splashing and that kind of thing. Um, but it's really, really nice. So if you haven't tried it, I highly encourage you to give it a shot. If you need help with that, if you are afraid of open water, do let me know. I'm happy to do an open water session, private session with you. Um, I do those at Quinn's Pond quite regularly in the summertime with people. Um, so if you need some help with that, let's get you started. Let's get you going on open water because it's awesome. It's super, super good um, opportunity that we have around here with all of our water. So um, if you're interested, like I said, Monday, Wednesday night, starting on June 14th, I have open water workouts, 6 to 7 p.m. I know Tritown also is doing open water workouts at Quinn's Pond. They currently have those going. Um, so you can check their website if you want to uh, see their schedule. I'm not sure what it is. Um, mine, uh, mine are, um, on, there's a link on my website and, um, I have a link in, uh, my Facebook page too. So if you're interested, let me know. If you have questions, let me know. And thanks for watching everybody. I hope this was interesting. Feel free to hit the like button if you did enjoy it and pass it on to anyone who might benefit. And I will look forward to seeing you guys next week at one. Thanks so much. Have a great day.